I'm Maxwell Douglasson here with Winnesquam Marine. Today we're going to take a look at our 2023 Crown Line E305. Back here is the large swim platform. Walking through, you can see the center walkthrough with two nice chase loungers. On either side of these chase loungers, you have a stereo remote to control your stereo volume and skipping songs. On the other side here, you have a wash down so you can wash your feet off. These are two electric chase loungers. That's that actuate forward and backwards so you can stop them wherever you want. Working our way into the rest of the boat, underneath this seat, we have a huge storage. Groundland does a really nice job of finishing off the storage compartments really well so you don't have uh, any carpet. All the water drains right out if you get it in there. Over on this side, you have a Dometic refrigerated drawer to keep your meats and cheeses cool so that way you can keep your drinks in the cooler. As you'll see here, we have the courtesy lights on. So all your cup holders are lit up. You also have two USB chargers on each side. You also have arch lights here, which brings me to the sunshade. This is a huge sunshade that pulls out to keep shade over the back of the boat. Working our way up to the cockpit here, two huge Garmin screens. This screen here is set up for all your engine data. Shows your trim, your speed, RPM, voltage, all your pertinent information for your engines. Over here, you can see is your navigation screen. This will show you where you are in the lake, shows you water depth, water temperature, GPS speed. Again, all of that pertinent information for navigating the lake. Over here, we have the Mercury Gen 2 DTS throttle with the joystick. This also has active trim. This is a really cool system uh, for controlling the motors as well as docking. To our right side here, we have a huge bathroom. This is an electric flush head with a sink and storage. One of the biggest heads on the market. As you'll see here too, we have a nice big lounger for the passenger. So you're facing backwards, watching people ski in tube, or facing forward with a flip up bolster. Both sides are the same with the bolster. Working our way towards the bow, we've got a nice wind block off. This is an awesome feature for the spring in the fall when it's a little bit colder, keeps the wind out of the cockpit. Right here you'll see you have a drawer for storage, and then you've got a trash can here. That way it keeps all your trash in one spot. Working our way into the bow, we've got a nice drop down armrest, and then two chase loungers, and they open up for huge storage, keeping all your life jackets and tie lines and everything there. Again, more cup holders, LED lights, and chargers in the front. This front seat here hinges up. They have a built-in igloo cooler. You also have non-kick table mounts that mount there, so they're not in the floor, not in the way of kicking them. Off the front of the boat here, you've got your anchor locker, which is a windlass. Your windlass rope and everything is all contained right here in the front. And that, that'll help you uh, anchor up those sandbars. Again, I'm Maxwell Duncanson. Thanks for watching here at Winnesquam Marine. We're open 24-7 at winnesquammarine.com. Thanks.